Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a really pretty look for summer that includes lots of gold and some coral and I think it's just something that's really quick, easy, and simple to just throw on before you're going out, whether that's to the beach or out with friends. So I'm going to be walking you through the whole process of how I do this look and please leave me comments below and let me know if you like this format better or the format of my previous video where I did voiceover. The first thing I'm going to do is start with Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream and this is a great all-in-one product to use and it has SPF 35. If you're going to be outside at the beach with more prolonged sun exposure, I suggest that you use a higher SPF. One that I've been really happy with has been the Neutrogena Age Shield Face Sunblock. Mine's an SPF 70 because I don't really like to tan so I want to really protect my skin. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the Smashbox BB Cream on my hand and just kind of start dotting it all over my face. Just a little down onto my neck too because you don't want your neck to be a different color than your face. Now if you want you can use your hand to blend this in but I'm going to use a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush which is really nice for blending in your foundation or any creams. So I'm just going to use circular motions and blend this into my face. I'm using the shade Light Medium, but I definitely recommend going into a store to check out which shade will work best for you, because buying online can be tricky. Next I'm going to fill in my brows a little. I have a pretty dark defined brow already, but I like to fill it in just a little bit. So just take a small angled brush. This one is a Smashbox number 12 brush. And I'm going to be taking their Brow Tech in the color Brunette and just lightly sweeping this on my brows. I'm going to use gentle upward strokes towards the inner corner of my brow. And then just apply it all the way to the end. If you have light hair, you're going to want to use a brow color that is one to two shades darker than your hair color. And if you have dark hair like me, you're going to want to go one to two shades lighter. I'm actually going maybe one shade lighter at most. This actually matches my hair color pretty closely, but that's just what I prefer. Next, I'm going to be using a bronzer. And I'll be using Mineralized Skin Finish by MAC in the color So Ceylon. This was a limited edition color, but any color will do. And I'll be using the MAC 187 brush to just gently apply this to my cheeks. Next, I'll be taking a pretty pink blush. This one's in Floor Power by MAC again. Just be picking up a little bit on my brush, not too much, and apply it to the apples of my cheeks to bring some color to my face. As you can see, I already have this kind of pretty bronzy glow going on, which is really summery. Now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm going to use a primer on my eyelids so that my shadow will last longer. I'm using Max Paint Pot and Painterly. And I'm just going to use my finger to blend this onto my eyelid up to my brow bone. The primer is going to really help your eyeshadow stay, especially in the summer when it's hot and humid. Once you have your primer on, we're going to go ahead and start with our eyeshadow. For this, the only thing I'm going to be using is the Naked Palette by Urban Decay. And this is a really great palette if you're looking to build your eyeshadow collection because it comes with some really great neutral shades as well as dark colors, which are fun. The first color from the palette I'm going to be using is Virgin, which is this light color here. And I'm going to be taking my MAC 217 blending brush, just picking up a little bit, blow off any excess, and applying it right under my brow bone to highlight, and also applying it to the inner corners of my eye. Next I'm going to use the MAC 239 shader brush and the gold color Half Baked in the Naked palette. This is a really pretty light shimmery gold. Pick some up on your brush and just start applying this to your eyelid. You really want to pack this color on, so just take your time to make sure you have real nice even coverage up to your crease of the gold. 
You don't have to be too precise because this color is light and we'll blend it in a minute. Keep applying the eyeshadow to your lid until you're happy with the color. Taking that same 239 brush, I'm gonna pick up some more of the color Half Baked and start dragging this color under my lower lash line. I'm gonna drag it all the way to the inner corner of my eye and have it meet that lighter color. I think having the gold on your lower lash line makes it extra summery. Next, go ahead and pick up your shader brush again. I'm just gonna lightly blend the gold into my crease. Shouldn't have to blend too much because this is a light color. Next, I wanna pick up the color right next to Half Baked called Smog. It's a darker brown. I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of this on my shader brush and then lightly blend this into my crease. This isn't gonna make a huge difference, but it'll create some definition and depth on your eyes. You can also drag it to the outer corner a little bit as you blend. I'm not gonna be using any eyeliner on my upper lash line in this look, but now would be the time to do so if you'd like to. I suggest using a brown color. I would maybe use the eye coal in the color Teddy by MAC Cosmetics. I think that would look really pretty. But I want my look to be more subtle, so I'm gonna go ahead and not line my upper lash line. What I am gonna do though is take a white eye pencil. You can also use a nude color. Mine is a white NYX eyeliner pencil, and I'm just gonna take this and apply it to my lower waterline. Doing this will make your eyes appear brighter and we'll also make them appear a little bigger too. Finally for the eyes, I'm gonna apply mascara. I'm gonna use Dior Show Ecstasy Mascara in black. I'm not using waterproof, but I suggest if you're gonna be at the beach or pool and get in the water to use waterproof mascara or bring some makeup remover with you. Just gonna wiggle this up from the root of my lash. Make sure I cover all my lashes. Now I'm gonna apply this to my bottom lashes. And everyone has different opinions about the best mascara, but this is honestly my favorite that I've tried. I'm not gonna be putting on any false eyelashes because like I said, this is a more laid back summer look, but if you wanted to wear it out at night, you can go ahead and apply your false eyelashes and then apply another coat of mascara to blend them into your real lashes. That's gonna be it for my eyes. And as you can see, without the eyeliner, it just looks like more of a pretty natural summer glowy look. Now we're gonna finish off with the lips. And what inspired me to do this look was actually this really pretty coral lip color I saw. I saw it on Pinterest. It's the color Hot Melon by NYX. Unfortunately, when I got this, the color doesn't apply as brightly as you may hope. What I'm gonna do is take Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Lip Stain in the color Rendezvous. This is a pretty kind of orange lip color. Might look a little intimidating, but I think it's really pretty. And I'm gonna use this as a base. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this balm to my lips. I think this color is awesome. Especially if you have a tan, which I really don't, but I still think it's awesome. And it is on the coral side, but definitely more orange than pink. So I'm gonna finish it off with that NYX color and Hot Melon, which will bring a little more pinkness to this. And we're done. Now you have this really pretty summery, beachy look. I think the coral lips are awesome. I've seen a lot of them in magazines lately. Celebrities are wearing it and I think these are two pretty cheap products that you can get to achieve that really nice coral lip look. One last thing, I wanted to recommend to everyone 
this body splash or body spray. It's from Bath and Body Works. My sister actually used it and I was like, what is that smell? It's awesome. And it is their scent in lemon and pomegranate number 1817. It's not out with the regular line. It's usually hidden back somewhere by the register. And I don't know why, because it smells great. I actually think it smells like raspberry lemonade is what it smells like. So I think this would be a great product to have. Spritz yourself and uh, you're on your way to a super summery day. So I hope you like this look. Super simple and enjoy. Bye.